Hello, my name is Kurt and this is Simple Shop Creations. And in this video series, I'm going to go through the steps on how I produce multiple copies of this style of cutting board. But first, let me tell you that this introduction is going to be used for all the parts of the process that I upload so you guys can view. So if you want to skip this introduction, it's just you've seen it once before, just go down in the description below and there'll be chapters of certain portions of the video and just click on one of the timelines and you can get right to the video. If you like to purchase this template, which I use to create the cutting boards, you can just send an email to simpleshopcreations at gmail.com and we will work out the arrangements from there. There will be a cost associated. So just go down in the description and you can get my email address down there. In addition, there will be above me what part of the video this is and what process or what step we are in the process of batching these small cutting boards out. So with that, let's go ahead and continue on with the video series on how to mass produce these cutting boards. Welcome to part two. And in part two, we're gonna do ripping and cross cutting of the wood. Here I am ripping the hard maple down to eight inches and an eighth of an inch in width. And these off cuts here are gonna be used to uh, build uh, a larger cutting board because the off cuts are approximately 19 inches in length. Okay, the next step here is to square up one end of the hard maple boards. And once that is done, you will see I'm gonna be cutting these down to their exact length of nine and five sixteenths of an inch. All right, so here I am now finally cutting the hard maple down to its final length of nine and five sixteenths of an inch. Uh, you can see my uh, awesome jig there. I'm gonna have to, I guess, create a new one eventually one day, but for now it uh, does its job and does the job well. All right, let's talk about the saw blade I'm using on my um, Saw, saw stop uh, table saw here. I'm using their titanium series uh, 10 inch blade. It's a 40 tooth 10 inch blade. Uh, so that's what I'm using here to cut this uh, maple, hard maple.
So here I'm getting ready to cross cut to length the walnut ends of the cutting board. Now here I'm cross cutting these down to approximately eight and a quarter inch in width or in length in this case. Uh, the width of these uh, when we go see uh, ripping uh, will be uh, approximately an inch and a half in uh, width. So enjoy this uh, portion of the video as I cross cut the walnut to eight and a quarter inch in length. Now here, I'm getting ready to rip the walnut down to a width of an inch and a half. So again, the length of the cross cutting of the walnut was eight inches and a quarter, and now the width is one and a half inches. Now let's recap the hard maple. The hard maple I ripped down to approximately an eight inch and an eighth of an inch. Uh, wide and then we cross cut it cross cut it we cross cut the hard maple to exact dimension of nine and five sixteenth of an inch now coming up here in a minute I'm going to cut a piece of walnut and it looks like it's going to have a defect in it which you should see now you can see it's got a defect it looks like some rot in it so I put that to the side and then I pick up the other one, other piece, and you can see the defect again. So be careful. Always pay attention to the wood that you're using because you can get some defects. So there I'm not going to use that uh, piece of wood nor the other piece. I just threw it to the side. Hey, right, we're coming up to the end of the video and in part three of this series, I'm going to be demonstrating how I glue the walnut to the hard maple body. There's a couple um, techniques you can use, um, and I'll explain those in the next video or in part three. So with that, have yourself a happy and healthy day. Until next video.